Mike here, BPM Groove in the Moo, here with a fairly hungover getaway plan, uh, Melbourne boys, and we're actually interrupting their sleep at the minute. Uh, they're on in a couple of hours, which means the gig last night at the Standard must have been pretty okay. It was killer, yeah. it was yeah. great, yeah. It's um, in the city, the sideshows, and yet we're on a sort of regional tour. Do you notice the difference when you sort of go to another city and it's like it's another sort of gig for them, and then you come back out to the regional, and everyone's just mad? Yeah. It's like, it's a, there's a difference in the crowd, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. man. People just, yeah, people care less out here. I think they're a bit less pretentious than in city gig goers, but um, we love it. We love playing regional shows. Now, I saw the Sonosphere cancel, like, like the listing and the cancellation. No. Firstly, how did you get on the bill? Like, it's, it was, I mean, outside of the cancellation issues I've had, that was a massive lineup. Yeah. Metallica yeah, right. and Soundgarden and. Insane, yeah, it was mental. Who that looked that up? That was just a friend of ours, our uh, a publicist in the UK, who looked up that show, which was, yeah, when we found that out, we were losing our shit <laughs> just as much as we found yeah, out. Yeah, when we cancelled. Yeah, when we cancelled. <laughs> Just not in a cool way, in a crying way. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any traction overseas? Um, I think hopefully we're going to get back to the UK in November. But until then, it's all up in the air, yeah. Just need that smash single, isn't it? it. Now, it's all sort of really pop saturated world, and you guys are rock here, yeah, and you guys are like, classic rock. Is there, at the moment, it feel a bit of a, a pendulum swinging, um, like dance, or just like, you know, sort the states supporting EDM and everything's bound for off, but that's really saturating the charts, and it does seem at the moment, if you look at uh, whether it's um, any of the charts, the rock isn't pushing through as much as it did. Are you feeling that at all? Just um, a bit of a... Not really. Time. We, we haven't like really noticed. Like uh, different acts on now, yeah. you know, we're the only rock. Even the lineup today, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, some yeah. of the acts as you go through, you go, oh my god, that's Beaks, you know, like, yeah, yeah. these people. Yeah, like, you we're one of the only rock bands that are playing today, which is really odd, you know, usually it's just like festivals, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, that's what a festival is, you know, what's, what's, yeah. what's like rock and roll, but yeah, these days it's way different. They've been carving your name out in stone. Now there's an interesting story with you guys, there was the breakup and then the, the, the gig, I don't know if you guys still talk about it or if it, if it comes up, but I was quite interested um, in it because now Getaway Plan seems stronger than ever. But it, for those that don't know, there was the youth depression, that there was the issue. Oh yeah, there. it was just a little charity event for, yeah. uh, for teen suicide, I think it was. Um, to write Love and Arms is the company. Yeah. Um, and that was our first show back in two years nearly, after being broken up. And uh, after we played that show, we uh, all just felt it too much to let it go, really. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of like, a, it's sort of, normally when people get together, it's a, after they've sort of like had enough of each other, but you guys were sort of just really getting underway, and yeah, then yeah. it was, was called off. Mm -hmm. Is it because now maybe it's going a bit better and there's enough, it's like career, you know, there's enough sort of... Um, I guess. I think we're all just better now. We're, like, our headspace is so much better than it used to be. We, um, when we first started touring, like, that was it for us. That was our be-all and end-all was the band touring and absolutely cutting off every single other, um, people in our lives and, uh, things that we needed to do in our personal lives that we never got time to do and that just wore on us after a while. And, I think having the time off we managed to get our lives in balance a bit better and focus on our personal lives a bit more and then having the band on top of that rather than the band being absolutely everything, yeah. you know, it just it makes all the difference for us. Yeah, yeah sometimes you're younger for longer than you think. You know, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It, man. definitely. Um, and how's the Groove in the Mood tour been? Made any friends? Seen anything that you haven't seen before? Uh, it's uh, been phenomenal. Yeah, it's yeah. been really fun. Right. <laughs> we got to hang out with Flavor Flavor yeah. the other day. I saw day. the uh, tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's very popular he's kind of like yeah. a little bit of living history, isn't he? It's just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, that's why it was just absolutely. And he's still doing the yeah boy, like yeah, when he yeah. meets people yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. He's a, yeah, he's got all the cuts ready that's going on this tour. <laughs> it's almost like he's trademark that situation. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And he's got the clock. <laughs> he's wearing the clock. <laughs> we went to uh, an island, a magnetic island, you know, like a resort. He's just, everyone's in their bathers and he's still just rocking the clock. Oh, it's, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> um, final thing, yeah, I was going to say back on that dance tip, but um, at the Grammys, you see sort of Dave Grohl, you know, 
rocking a bit to Dead Mouse, which almost just seems, you know, kind of bizarre. Yeah. But is there ever, I guess, like a, a an actor, like an, an electronic actor, that you sort of think, wow, you know, I kind of, I, I'm happy with rock, but maybe we should be looking for a cool remix or something like that coming through, no. or it's still oh, sick. I don't know. You guys really are, you know, a proper rock band. Yeah, yeah. Well. I, mean, I think, uh, you know, the last big day that we did, we sort of pendulum. Yeah, and that, I think it, I was like, this is pretty cool. Like, I could imagine bringing elements of that into our stuff. And uh, what's the other guy's name now? Nero. Nero's Nero Nero stuff is really it. cool. We chuck that on in the band every now and then. But, um, you know, we're doing what we love. Yeah. yeah. So we always are looking for new elements to bring into the band. You know, we're not prejudiced against any genres. Yeah. You know? We love it all, really. We're open to everything, man. Yeah, it's and always interesting. Still look fantastically rock as well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, unless you go and get some sleep for the gig, <laughs> here at uh, Groove in the Mood, the getaway plan, doing it for the regional area. Johnny boys, for the chat. Cheers. 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 <laughs>